hi everybody now uh, hi everybody uh, welcome to this presentation uh, now we uh, i'm here to talk about the fraud detection techniques in the big data era uh, the objective of this presentation is to present uh, or to provide a review of different fraud detection techniques in a meaningful data context uh, so um, first let me present my introduce myself. I'm a Pesihana, a PhD student at uh, Ibn Tufayl University. So, uh, our presentation is organized as follows. First, I will start with an introduction and then I look at fraud taxonomy, next traditional fraud detection techniques and the big data analytic techniques for fraud detection. And next, uh, I will present the benefits and challenges of big data for fraud detection and I will sum up with a conclusion. So, uh, fraud is a crime where the purpose is to appropriate money by illegal means. So, uh, more than 23 billion of credit card transactions are processed annually in the USA. And businesses lose an estimated of $3 billion annually to fraud and financial crime. And organization loss uh, uh, 5% of the revenue of fraud uh, every year. Uh, let's move to the fraud taxonomy. So, uh, almost any technology system involved money and services can be compromised by fraudulent acts. For example, credit card uh, system, telecommunication, etc. The figure below shows the most common area of fraud, uh, of fraud, including insurance, credit card, telecommunication, the web network, and the computer intrusion. So this fraud has a negative impact for uh, this uh, area. For, uh, for these reasons, researchers uh, uh, using, uh, have used uh, different techniques to combat this fraudulent activity. So let's now uh, show the traditional fraud detection techniques. We have the rule-based techniques, a statistical method, the st a statistical methods and machine learning method, uh, methods which is uh, ca categorized as uh, supervised learning and supervised learning and semi-supervised learning. The supervised learning uh, learned from the past example of fraud, it used historical data. Uh, for example, we have the logistic regression and super vector machine. For the unsupervised learning, it detects fraudulent cases in an unlabelated test data and uh, we have the clustering method for, as uh, an example uh, k-means clustering and the uh, fourth semi-supervised learning it lies between supervised and unsupervised learning since it involves a small number of labelate samples and many unlabelate samples so let's now turn to the data mining techniques. We have the imbalanced classification is a, a pre-processing stage uh, that, uh, of data balancing techniques, rebalancing skewed data sets or eliminate noise. For model combination, these approaches uh, consist of building a new model by combining multiple algorithms to increase efficiency and accurate rates. Rates outlier out out detection. It includes statistical and data mining approaches. For that big data analytic uh, techniques for fraud detection, uh, we present uh, here a timeline for historical evolution and trends for anomaly detection techniques and big data technology. Uh, we have the Hadoop, uh, Apache Storm, Apache Spark, and uh, with multiple data mining algorithms like uh, Kamin's clustering, uh, Kanye's neighbors, uh, the hierarchical temporal memory, etc. So. Let's move to the taxonomy of, uh, of real-time big data processing of fraud detection. This, tax this uh, taxonomy this taxonomy is uh, classified into different category, which are categories, uh, categorized, which are techniques, application, anomalies, models, data, big data processing, and the record category. The and the record categories for the techniques among a vast group of anomaly detection techniques accessible we have uh, examined uh, six major techniques as follow N nearest neighbor uh, Bayes bayesian network super vector machine decision tree random forest and etc for the application in the 
we have listed the major application scenario in the area of uh, real-time big data processing for anomaly detection, uh, like the network intrusion in the healthcare, image processing, fraud detection, and etc. So for the anomalies, uh, we have uh, presents three different categories of anomalies, such as points, contextual, and collective anomalies for real-time anomalies detection. And for the anomalies detection models, we have presented three learning, learning uh, types, uh, supervised uh, anomaly detection, semi-supervised and unsupervised. And for the data, we have um, different types of data used in anomaly detection, uh, such as structured data, semi-structured data, and unstructured data. And for the big data processing uh, technologies, uh, utilize uh, different types of big data tools in a variety of domain. Uh, this These techniques uh, are Spark, Storm, Kafka, and Flam, Amazon, Hadoop, etc. And we have the record categories. Uh, we have elaborated different types of record categories that have been used in anomaly detection. We have host-based data and network-based data. So now let's move to the challenges and uh, the benefits and challenges of big data. For, uh, in identifying and combating, in, and combat, combating fraudulent operations, big data technology offers many advantages. We have the most significant advantages here. The ext uh, extensive data processing, accurate time detection, and fraud prediction. And for the challenges of big data, uh, we have the skewed distribution, the performance, and the data privacy. And the, finally, uh, we'll sum up with traditional fraud detection methods are unsuccessful in a complex environment and massive data. It is difficult to apply traditional fraud detection algorithms on vast amounts of data within a reasonable time. And big data analytics can process large amounts of data and generate, <coughs> generate information <coughs> in real time, ultimately <coughs> reducing costs by <coughs> ensuring high accuracy. And thanks for your attention. Yeah. <laughs>